Raplet just made front-end design ridiculously simple. With the new design mode, you can create sleek and modern UIs for your app and website without worrying about the code structure or design details. Basically, it's a dedicated mode just for designing the UI and front-end of your application. And after designing, you can even turn that into a full stack application with all the real functionalities as well and that too in just a single click. And today this video, we'll together explore the new design mode which is actually powered by Gemini 3 Pro and also take a look at what's possible with the new design mode. So let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up Replit and if this is your first time, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below and head over to replit.com and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And again, if you use the link in the description below, you will get some credits that you can use to build application right within Replit as well. So as you can see, I'm now logged in. And usually when we want to build something using Replit, we usually go to this build mode right here, start by giving our prompt and then we get going that way, right? But right now towards the right side, here I can find a new mode. It's called design and it's currently in beta. And if I click on this design option, as you can see, it says the fastest way to visual website with no backend see results in about two minutes. So this right here is the feature that we are specifically going to focus in today's video. And again, it's called the design mode. And as you might already know, Google recently released the Gemini 3 Pro AI model. And you might have seen a gazillion videos already explaining and let's say praising how good of a job does the Gemini 3 model do, especially when it comes to front end and UI sort of things. In fact, Replit's design mode is actually using Gemini 3 Pro under the hood. So you get all that goodness of Gemini 3 Pro if you're about to use the design mode. And now, if you use the design mode, Replit will only create the front end and UI of your app. But the good news is that in just a single click, you can actually go to build mode and turn your design into a full stack application with all the complex stuff like authentication, backend, database, file storage, APIs, integrations, and whatnot. So first of all, let's say you want to build a UI for your website. Well, in that case, all you have to do is to explain that in here. So as you can see, it says describe the idea you want to design. And here we have a couple of examples as well. So this right here is for our architecture portfolio. Here we have one for fine dining restaurant and we also have one for fashion boutique as well. And again, it says visual only approach keeps your work lightweight and scoped to the front end. Quicker build times maintain your creative flow. And it also says convert to an app anytime to unlock backend features like connectors, databases and more. And again, when you design, it won't have any functionality. It will be just the UI part or the front end part in just a single click. You can actually turn that into a full stack website. And now just for example, I'll go ahead and give a prompt something like this. And as you can see, it says create a landing page for an automation platform that I'm building similar to n8.io, zapier.com or make.com. Basically a node based automation platform that people can use to automate virtually anything. I want you to create a sleek and modern looking landing page with some nice animations, UI elements, and more importantly, I also want to show an interactive canvas. The user should be able to move and place the notes anywhere within the canvas. And that is basically what I want to build now. So this right here is a elaborative prompt I'll start with. And again, after the AI has created the initial version, you can go ahead and keep making modifications or any changes as you wish. And again, every time you give a URL in this input box right here, you get a couple of options like take screenshot, get text content or extract branding. For example, let's say you want to extract the color theme, the typography and you know, overall style from any website. Well, you can use this option right here. So in this case, this right here is the prompt I'll give. And now all I have to do is to click on the start designing button right here. All right. So there you go. As you can see, Replit has started working on the same and it will take some time for the AI to come up with the initial version. But the good news is that the design will be ready in about two minutes. So I'll wait for it to complete and I'll see you afterwards. So this right here is the landing page that the AI has created for our automation platform. It says automate anything without the code. And again, I actually like this typography and also this grid background, by the way. And again, we asked the AI to include an interactive node builder. And there you go. Okay, it is truly interactive and I can move things around. And also I like the styling of these nodes as well. Okay, here we have a couple of cards. All right, a bunch more illustrations. Okay, I think we are finally getting out of that AI slope era is what I guess. So initially, like a couple months back, every time we asked the AI to build some kind of UI for our app, we almost always end up getting something like that purple color, that gradient and it will just scream that it is AI generated. And look at this one right here. It's clean, it's neat, it has that professional touch to it. And look at that font and even this uh, interactive canvas right here. 
So all of that actually looks good. And again, Replix design mode is actually using Google Gemini 3 Pro under the hood. And you can see the greatness of this AI model just by looking at this uh, landing page that the AI has created in here. And next up, if you want to make any changes or add new features, or let's say do you want to do anything, well, you can just go ahead and give a follow up prompt and take it up from here. And now this right here is a simple landing page, right? Next up, let's just say you want to design, let's say a node builder, like a dummy node builder. Well, you can just go ahead and ask the AI to do so. And maybe we can start by giving a simple prompt and let's see how far we can push the AI to. So I'll go ahead and say, next up, I want to create a dedicated demo page for the node builder of our application. I don't want it to be functional. So right now I just want to demonstrate to people how it actually works. So we should have a bunch of nodes already connected. It has to be a complex workflow, by the way. And we should also give users the option to, let's say, add a couple of nodes. And yeah, we only want to build the UI part for now. I don't want to make it a uh, functional or anything. So please implement a separate page and also make sure to link the same in the navigation bar towards the top on the main uh, landing page as well. So this right here is the prompt I'll give and now I can click on the send button. So as you can see, I just went ahead and gave a prompt and it says I'll start by creating the node builder demo page and its component and I'll reuse the interactive canvas logic but expand it to a full screen complex demo and that is exactly what I want and here I can find a plan as well okay all of that looks good in which case I'll wait for the AI to come up with the updates that we asked for and I'll see you afterwards all right so that part is also complete maybe I can open it up in a new tab and let's just see okay so I can find an option that says live demo towards the top I'll click on the same okay maybe I can zoom out here we have a complex workflow. Here we have all these nodes, branches, actions, triggers, save button, run test. And again, this writer is a dummy workflow, by the way. But yeah, this is what the AI has created. And I actually kind of like the UI and, you know, the typography, the styles and everything else, to be honest. And again, next up, if you want to truly make it functional, you can go ahead and give a prompt in here. For example, let's just say this is I'm pretty happy with everything. And next up, let's just say I want to turn this into a real website with real backend and all that kind of stuff. Well, all I have to do is to give a prompt in here that says I want to convert this into a full stack website, like a proper website with uh, authentication backend and all that kind of complex stuff. OK, so just for demonstration purpose, I'm giving a prompt like this. And now I can click on the send button right here. OK, let's wait. And there you go. As you can see, it says I can upgrade this to a full stack app to add real authentication database storage for workflows and backend execution logic. And this is the option that we were waiting for. And now all you have to do is to click on this convert to app button right here and then Replit agent will take over and you can add all those full stack capabilities into your app and get going from there. So basically the idea is that you can actually start working on a design and after you're happy with that, you can let Replit agent take over and you can convert it into a normal application that you would build in Replit. So that's how simple it is. And next up before winding up, I'll maybe also try to create, let's say a landing page for a local business as well. So here I'm in the design uh, tab and here we have a couple of examples. For example, let's just say fine dining restaurant. Okay. I'll try that. So I'll select that option and it says create an elegant restaurant website with reservation system, sophisticated, intimate and Michelin star worthy with gorgeous food photography. And now I'll click on start designing and let's wait for it. All right. So it seems like the AI is done creating the landing page for our elegant restaurant. And again, I'm actually very like surprised to see the kind of result that the design mode in Replit was able to generate. So first of all, we went ahead and gave this particular prompt right here. And again, it took about three minutes for the AI to come up with the initial version. And the interesting thing here is that Replit actually went ahead and created or let's say used AI to create all these images to include in our landing page. And then it designed the entire page and added all that. Maybe I can open it up in a full screen. All right. So look at that. So this right here is the landing page that the AI has created for us. It is actually really great. Here we have the menu. Okay. Oh, that is a nice effect, like a parallax effect, by the way. So as you can see, this right here is the landing page that the A has created. And we even have this reserve pop-up options as well. Okay. All of that looks good. And again, if you do want to start using the Replit's design feature, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below, head over to replit.com, sign up for a new account, and then move over to this design tab right here. 
and you can start by giving a prompt and craft uis for your front end designs or let's say whatever kind of application landing page or whatever be that you're building well you can use the new design feature to come up with some interesting uis and again it's actually really great and yeah and i think it's finally time to say goodbye to all these ai slope uis that we have been seeing and again that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one